Liquid motion graphics are fun to put together and not quite used that often, but it offers a nice fluidity to your work. So in this video, I wanna talk about three motion graphic liquid effects that you can use with your titles and other motion graphics. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunday Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is having an awesome day today. So we're gonna break this tutorial down into three parts on how to create liquid text, of course, how to do liquid motion graphics, and how to add some bubbly effects to your liquid work. So if you're looking to create some fluidity in your work and create some very creative work tutorials for you. So let's jump in the tutorial and let's get started. All right, and as always, you can download our project files for free. If you wanna follow along, the link will be below. So we're gonna jump over to our tutorial composition. Our first technique, we're gonna talk about how to do the liquid effect for our title. We already have a title layer in here and a background, which is just there for fun. And let's go ahead and get started. So once you have your title in here, what you wanna do is go to layer, pre-compose, and we'll call it title placeholder. And you can also use this effect with a logo so you can change it out later in time. That's why we're pre-composing this. Okay, so we'll come here to the top and we'll grab the rectangle tool just like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a thick rectangle like this, you know, nice and thick. Great. All right, so what we're going to do once you have a thick rectangle that's bigger than your title, you can go ahead and bring it down by a little bit and come here to the beginning of the timeline and just hit P on keyboard for position. We'll add a keyframe for this and we'll move forward by say four seconds because we want the liquid effect to be nice and slow. That's more effective that way. So we'll go ahead and move our shape layer above our title to kind of be right on top of it like so, so it'll fill up and you know, there's that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go up to effect, distort, and we're gonna grab turbulent displace, which is right here. And we're gonna go ahead and increase the amount up to like 170. And we're gonna come here to evolution and we're gonna all click the stopwatch and type in time asterisk 500 and we'll click off of it. So you'll get this nice liquid, uh, you know, effect on our shape layer and that's fine. Then I wanna to go to effect, stylize and grab roughen edges and this'll make it a little bit more detailed. And what we're gonna do here is set the border to 29 and we can increase the scale to like 170. All right, pretty simple, but that's what we're doing. Okay, awesome. So now we're done with the basic liquid effects here. What we're gonna do is take our shape layer and we're gonna put it underneath our title placeholder and we'll set our track mat. If you don't see the track mat, just toggle switch the modes until you see it. And set your track map for the shape layer to alpha map. Here is our liquid fill up currently. And if you don't like the animation, like I don't love that, go to your turbulent displays, go to the offset turbulence, and you can just move it over and kind of find a random uh, seed that you like. You can also just go to adjust the random seed in that effect. But you want to find a nice liquid patch that you're going to like. And I think I like that one right there, and that's fine. And you can always adjust the keyframes if you want it to be a slower animation. And when you're happy for liquid effect, let's take our title placeholder and let's go up to edit duplicate. And we'll come back to that in a second, but let's take our original title placeholder and our shape layer and go to layer pre-compose and we'll call it liquid effect. One click okay. All right, so from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to effect generate and we're gonna grab the fill effect and I'll change this back to my white color. And this is where we're gonna create a quick variation in the animation. So we'll duplicate our liquid effect and we'll offset it in time by a handful of frames. And we'll come here and change the color to uh, whatever color we want. So that nice blue color there. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna have multiple variations of this effect and that looks nice. And we can duplicate it again, offset that in the timeline, change the color. And then one more time, we'll go ahead and duplicate it and we'll change our color back to white, which I like white for this effect and boom there it is so what's happening here is we have this nice liquid fill up and i think that looks nice however i want to take this effect a little bit further and kind of show the container around the logo or title you're working with so we'll turn that title placeholder back on and we'll go to effects generate and we're going to grab vegas and we'll set our segments down to one and we'll come here to the blend mode and set the transparent okay so there you have it you can change your color to white and what we want to do is turn the midpoint opacity to one and the end opacity to one and also make sure the start opacity is at one as well. And we'll go ahead and bring the width all the way down to 0.5 so we have a very thin container there. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're simply going to come here to the beginning of the timeline and we're going to add a keyframe for length and rotation. And we'll hit U to bring up those keyframes and we can bring those keyframes forward in time, maybe by a second and set the length down to zero and then adjust the rotation a little bit randomly. So what's going to happen is you will have somewhat of the container already in there. So I can go ahead and just time these out perfectly in my timeline. 
And there you have it. You have a nice container around uh, your title or logo. And if you're using white, it'll just fill back up and that looks awesome. So that's how you can do a liquid title or logo. And before we move further into the tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to our 500 motion graphics starter pack extension right here for After Effects. So this is our motion graphics starter pack extension where we have over 500 templates to choose from from obviously motion graphics to tons of animated titles, animated backgrounds, and more. So the goal of this pack is to help you spruce up your work with a few clicks of a button. So we come into our motion graphics folder and we have these accent graphics that we can preview and help enhance our composition. But we have these things called clusters that we can use to quickly spruce up our composition. And with a click of a button, we're able to add these accent graphics to bring more detail to our motion graphics no matter what project you're working on. And you can easily go in those compositions and change those colors and other parameters as you see fit. And with our 200 titles, you're able to bring in information where you can quickly update your template, your colors, and all other parameters to help put together animated titles and much more for your motion graphic projects right here inside of After Effects. So if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work, be sure to check out our motion graphic starter pack along with several other packs from our link below. If you do pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, so for our second technique, we're gonna create bubbles to help sell this effect even further. So what we're gonna do is go to layer, new, solid, and we can call it bubbles. And you can change your color to white and click okay and click okay. So we're gonna go to effect simulation and we're gonna grab CC bubbles. And we have these bubbles automatically animating in here and that's fine. First thing is first, come here to shading type and let's set this to none. And you get these solid circles in here and that's fine so what we'll do here is we really need to increase the amount of bubbles here because we want to be able to put this inside of our title so we'll go ahead and increase that amount to like 850 and we'll bring down the bubble size down to one so they're nice and small and we can set our wobble amplitude to say 25 um, and that'll just kind of be how fast it moves and there it is okay so what we want to do here is take our title placeholder that we have and we'll just duplicate it put this title placeholder above the bubbles effect and delete the vegas effect okay and then for your bubbles layer, make sure the track mat is going to be set to alpha mat. So this way now you have those bubbles in there and they'll automatically be animating uh, with the liquid fill up and that's fine. However, we, the bubbles are already going to be animating. So kind of just we'll cheat cut this and we can bring in the endpoint of this layer. So it'll kind of just pop in there, but it's such a very subtle effect that it's going to be hard to see. Um, and that looks really nice. So for our third technique is this liquid wave that you can use as a transition or just as a motion graphic in general to open up your scene or any other area. It's really easy to do this. So what we're going to want to do is first of all, click on the new composition button and we're going to want to create a composition that has a bigger width than what we normally work with. So go ahead and open that up and there's a reason for it. Um, but what we'll do is grab the rectangle tool here and we'll just draw a solid rectangle like so. So as before, we'll hit PR and keyboard for position and we'll add a keyframe for it. Move that keyframe forward in time and we'll just move our entire, you know, solid to be off screen and it'll animate it in like so. And that's how we want it. All right. So from here, we'll just go back up to effect, distort, and we'll grab turbulent displace and we'll set our displacement to twist and we'll set the amount up to 150. That's it. That's all we're going to do for this because it's already going to be animating as it's positioning by and that looks nice. The reason why we have a bigger composition is because as it gets closer to the edge, the wave starts to break apart and we don't want that in the main comp. So what we're going to do is we'll go back into our main composition work area. We'll go to the project window and we'll grab that composition that we just created and bring it into our uh, you know, timeline. So boom, here's our wave. What we're going to do is go to effect generate fill and we can keep our color at white if we want to. That's fine. And as before, we're going to duplicate this layer and we're just going to offset it by a frame or two and change the fill color to a different color to create that you know nice offset of color. We can duplicate it, offset it by a frame, get a darker color in here. We can do one more duplicate, we can do white again, and we can duplicate one more time and maybe we'll go to a darker color. And this could be our background that we use and I'll hide my solid layer. So now what's going to happen is that this will animate across the composition as a nice wave effect and then we get into our liquid effect just like that. So it's a nice little transition and you could apply the bubble effects that we just created to the wave. It's not an alpha mat. It's just following the wave uh, via position keyframe. So as you can see, uh, just go ahead and add a bubble effect and position keyframe that to follow the wave. So that is our tutorial on creating these three liquid effects right here instead of After Effects. Hopefully you're able to implement one or all these techniques into your future work. Always be thinking about how you can use this for your future projects. So, 
If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.